they wanted to leave this person in a suffering position whilst they live their life whilst they live their destiny this is a serious destiny transfer what is happening you know most of y'all don't even know who you are because you're born in some little trenches some little borders and some little zinc fences you believe you can't come out to be the next robert nesta Mali or let's go for some some prominent figures like billy graham or Catherine Kuhlman or let's say Tasha Cobbs or CC Winans or someone very prominent because of where you come from but let me tell you something your physical existence is just an attack but if you were to see who you are in the realm of the spirit you will see why somebody wants your money you'd see why somebody wants your destiny you'd see why there was this big operation to take your destiny many people who are in inner cities right now as i speak when you was 14 and 15 with your big dreams someone saw your future because they were always witches they're everywhere but only they look like me and you they gamble they smoke they drink they failed and they want you to fail when they go home they just like how we pray daily they go and they read the tarot card and they look in the this and the that and the crystal ball and they say oh that neighbor son going to be rich and going to drive a market and suddenly the boy crashed and dead but in your case you didn't crash and dead what they did was they've been fighting your finances you have a lot of up and down up and down up and down one minute you're okay and feel like your life is getting good then you go back down because somebody want your destiny because when they look in the realm of the spirit they saw that your destiny was gonna be great because you're the chain breaker what i saw was a complete operation being destroyed last night this is an ancient operation something that fought your mama your dad your uncle your neighbor your region two men went in a building and when i say it was an ops they were dressed like it's a it's an operation secret agent type of stuff and they're going in and one man was wearing a full uh aqua blue suit full three-piece aqua blue suit and i don't know what happened but you got to the top and somehow you were leaving that man behind because that man was frozen like he was just in an elevator stiff frozen like and something about you was righteous so you were saying no you don't feel good to leave him and then you kept hearing the mother the, the other man say he's dead the other man say he's dead and then you're still because you have righteousness you don't want to leave him and then you see this strange woman come and say listen the man upstairs is dead they just put him outside i'm telling you this is a vision they just put him outside on the grave and they pronounce him dead listen i don't know who has been fighting your destiny but i come to tell them is world war three them buck up in a, and they ain't living to tell the tale you cried too much you went through too much you suffered too much and frankly you sold too much for the lord the lord said no more not this time i said they pronounce i don't know who the man in the blue suit is but somebody in the blue suit is pronounced dead and a grave Brother shekoto and it's because they wanted your destiny guess what you took out of the, of the operation a money bag a duffel bag it's like this was a generational thing what they stole from your family your this and your i prophesy is any spirit operating in anybody around that would want to come for this they pronounce two in jesus name hallelujah come on somebody do you know signs your destiny is under siege you're qualified you're working you're pushing but nothing moves if you believe this is you you need to join this ministry and join us every tuesday every wednesday every thursday these prophecies we ain't gonna go to hell for nobody these are things the lord show us so yes i'm advertising my ministry because you need to know about it but nonetheless don't believe i'm just making this stuff up because i ain't gonna pay for that for you this is what i actually saw somebody in a blue suit a strong man against somebody destiny going pronounce knows believe you me in jesus name because they want to take what is yours and the lord said no